Now that we have defined the segment and also explored the possible number of segments for the circle, now comes the question on what are those two segments called with specific names and how do we define each of the segment or each of the region is what we're going to see in the session. Today's session is about major segment and minor segment. So let's see the basic definitions of major and minor segments. So let's classify the given circle into two different cases. Major segment and minor segment. As we all know that a segment is a region obtained when a chord intercepts the circle. So therefore every circle makes two regions with the chord. Let's see which region would be called the major segment and which region would be called minor segment with its own specific definitions. So imagine I take a circle with the chord AB. Then clearly I find two regions in this chord. This is region 1, segment 1 and segment 2. But geometrically I identify that there is only one segment which has the center of the circle but this does not have the center. So this has the center of the circle and this does not have the center of the circle. And this is how with the property through which we classify the segments into major segments and minor segments. So let's first take the segment which has the center of the circle. So in this case my first circle which has the center of the circle and my second case of the segment which does not have the center of the circle. And then the segment which has center involved the center of the circle involved is called major segment and the segment which does not have the center of the circle involved is called minor segment. So for this circle this part is called minor segment and this part is called major segment because it has the center. So major segment is a segment which involves In has center of circle in it and here does not have center of circle in it as how we understand the major segment and minor segment involved with the circle. The segment of the circle which has the center of the circle involved is called major segment and the segment of the circle which does not have center of circle involved is called minor segment. That's how we define major and minor segments for the given circle. Now that we have discussed about major segment and minor segment now let's connect the arcs, the major arcs and the minor arcs related with the major segment and the minor segment. 
This session is about connecting major and minor segments with their respective arcs. Major and minor segment connected with arcs so let's see how the major and minor segments are connected with their respective arcs for example let's take a circle of suitable radius and center so here i take a circle with the center out here and here is the chord AB. Now I have the regions denoted with this. Now in this case, I have two regions, the first region and the second region. Now clearly we know that the region 1 has center, so this is called major segment. As discussed in the previous session, that major segment is the segment or the part of the circle which has center involved. Now, because it has the center involved in this region, this dotted region is called major segment. Now, this part of the circle does not involve the center or there is no center of the circle in this region. So, this is called minor segment. is how we understand the major and minor segment. Now comes the question on how we connect them with the arcs. So let's revisit the definition of arc of a circle. We know that major arc is the arc which is bigger in size and minor arc is the arc which is smaller in size. So obviously this acts as the minor arc. And this acts as the major arc. So what do we conclude from these two connections of the segments and arcs is that the length of the arc of the major segment or the major region is major arc and the length of the arc of the minor segment or the minor region is called minor arc is how we understand the major and minor arcs connected with major segment and minor segment. So here the arc connected with major segment is called major arc and the arc connected with minor segment is called minor arc is how we understand the relation between major arc and minor arc the arc connected with major segment that is the bigger segment is major arc and the arc connected with smaller segment that is the minor segment is minor arc
connecting major and minor segments with major and minor arcs. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.